You know, the irony is that both the Tories and the Lib Dems, six or seven years ago, were four square behind the changes to the law that would have meant that we wouldn't be standing here today having this conversation. They knew what was wrong with the law, they knew how to fix it, they tried to fix it. But when they came into power, all of a sudden, realpolitik dawns on them, and none of them have the moral courage, or very, very few, actually to do what is necessary. What realpolitik? Is this President Obama calling David Cameron? Absolutely. The American embassy has put enormous pressure on the politicians here. And, of course, very few of them have the stomach to stand up and say Why? no. Why? What's going to happen to them? The wonderful irony of this situation, the wonderful irony, is that if the roles were reversed, no United States politician would ever, in their wildest dreams, think of, of subordinating the rights of their constituents to those of a foreign country. This is basically a story of rank political cowardice. What the Conservatives have done very, very recently in changing the law and telling everybody they've made it better is to make it worse. Theresa May's comment about decisions being made in open court is absolute nonsense. What she has given is a prosecutor here the power to serve a certificate on the extradition court saying, I do not want to prosecute this here. And that is the end of it. There will be no discussion of forum. The person will be extradited. That is shocking. It's Kafkaesque. It's Orwellian. And the politicians who put that in place, frankly, should be strung up.